All right, in episode three of uh, Retrospective, uh, this is for the week of uh, April 3rd. Uh, first, I want to show you guys the updated head sculpt from Hot Toys. We have uh, one from Black Panther Wakanda Forever, one from Thor Love and Thunder, and one from Spider Man No Way Home. All three of these got moving eyes and they all look fantastic. And uh, yeah, likeness definitely there. They're perfect likeness. And uh, overall, uh, I think these are really great improvements from uh, what they've shown uh, previously. So next up, we got uh, this new line from Hot Toys called uh, Mech Strike. And uh, the first figure will be uh, Black Panther. So basically... Um, transforming a uh, panther to a humanoid and in my opinion this is nice but uh, I don't think it's necessary uh, with the price tag of uh, 455 this is an easy pass for me uh, and probably for a lot of people too then up next we have a reissue of Mark 85 and Thanos from uh, SH Fig Arts uh, from what I can tell it's basically just updated paint job, and I think this is like the fourth iteration of Mark 85. And uh, yeah, it's definitely a skip for me. There's, I don't, I don't need a fourth version of uh, 85 or another Thanos. I have plenty of those enough. And then uh, up next, uh, we get a new. Well, we we get something new from uh, Super Seven. And uh, these are G.I. Joes. We have four new figures from G.I. Joe, from their G.I. Joe line. And uh, I only really care about two of them, which is uh, Baroness and Zartan. I think they both look fantastic. And uh, most likely I will get them because I already have Cope Commander and he turned out to be really, really good. So most likely I'm just going to get the villains. Uh, so Cobra Commander, Destro, Baroness, Zartan, and... Uh, Probably Storm Shadow too. All right, now moving back on to Hot Toys, we have a uh, Episode Six Darth Vader. It's up on pre-order. Uh, regular version is three hundred, and the deluxe version is uh, three forty-five. And it comes with a Electrify helmet, which basically they put an LED inside the helmet, and also uh, some uh, electricity effect pieces, and an extra base. And a uh, mini display extension pieces, uh, extension pieces for both helmets. And uh, this episode six fader comes with um, a human head as well, and with uh, rolling eyes. And the next up, also from Hot Toys, we get the diecast uh, C three PO. Uh, this one uh, is gonna be about three hundred twenty four. It also comes with a salacious chrome and um, personally I think this is a fantastic and perfect figure uh, for die cast because it is C3PO and uh, supposed to be all metal anyway so uh, I guess it that uh, weight uh, the Iron Man type weight so I think it fits them perfectly and uh, uh, I already have the sideshow version I don't think I'll get it, but it is very tempting though. It is very tempting for me to get the, the Hot Toys version and just sell off the Sideshow one instead. And next up we have some third party pre-orders. Uh, first one, The Queen, which is uh, by Playtoy, and which is uh, aka uh, uh, Queen Amidala. And um, I must say that uh, this looks fantastic. The gown is so pretty, and uh, the head scope, uh, it's, uh, it looks just like Natalie Portman, and uh, it's very, very good. And the price tag is only 159 which uh, I think is a great price. And uh, it is something that I, I'm, I don't know, I might consider, I'm not sure. Most likely I'm not going to get it, because um, I don't have a large collection of the episode one characters to go with uh, Amidala so yeah probably a skip for me and then from uh, present toys uh, we're getting two Ghostbusters first one is uh, Z 
which is uh, Winston Sadmore, and then also V, which is uh, Peter Vekman, and uh, both figures come with uh, two extra head sculpts, well, two total for each, and uh, and they cost about 210 each, and I guess because uh, these figures does have lighter features with the proton packs and the, and the, and the wand, so uh, yeah, so 210 each. And then also from Mars Toys, uh, people are starting to receive their Cesar Romero Joker. And um, I saw a couple of reviews of it already. And uh, the figure looks fantastic, uh, especially the head sculpts. And uh, this is also a 1-6 scale. And, and it actually comes with a total of uh, three head sculpts and a bunch of accessories for about 205. And uh, this is another one I'm also consider getting myself getting one myself and then next up i want to talk a little bit about the uh, stuff where we saw from uh, star wars celebration uh first uh we get a season two bad batch uh, these are 112 scale the black series which i definitely would not get because uh, i'm not a fan of the armor from uh, season two they uh they just look too colorful for me and um Season 1 got way better colors, and the paint job is much better. So, yeah, I'm just going to stick with the Season 1 version, and I'm not going to deal with the Season 2 at all. Uh, the only character I want is that generic uh, Clone Commando, uh, because uh, because it's just a regular clone, so uh, you can never have no clones. But uh, this one is uh, Walmart exclusive, unfortunately. And next up, uh, we have a vintage collection of the N1 Starfighter from Mandalorian. Uh, this will go perfectly with the Razor Crest since both are 118 scale. And um, we also get the Black Series uh, Another Vader with the removable helmet. Also, yeah, Black Series 112 scale. And then we also get to the. Uh, we also get a look at the. Um, Force Spirit set with Anakin, the Force Spirits, yeah, Force Spirit set with uh, Anakin, Skywalker, Yoda, and Obi Wan Kenobi. So all these are basically just uh, translucent figures with uh, cloths. So yeah, they look pretty good, and uh, uh, but no, not for me. And then up up next, uh, another Luke from Episode Six outfit which uh, I think we're all very tired of uh, these core characters really so yeah another Luke yeah another black outfit from him yeah and then we're getting another royal guard again the the red one and then uh, yeah it's basically the same thing I mean I I can't really tell the difference between the previous uh, releases uh, versus this new one and then uh, up next, uh, we get a Cad Bane from Book of Boba. So that one's something new. So yeah, that one, I don't know. I might consider picking that one up, but uh, not sure yet. And then uh, we have a uh, Jabba the Hutt. And uh, that one, I believe is a reissue. I'm not sure, but uh, before it was a Walmart exclusive. And uh, now they're releasing it uh probably to the masses so yeah not sure how much the price is gonna be because I remember the uh, the Walmart version was about 35 I think yeah when it first got released I think it was like 35 but yeah we'll see and then only two more things to talk about and uh, we should be done with this video first uh, we have the adventure series from Indiana Jones uh, if this is a wave, it's a very strange wave because we're getting four indies, four indie figures, and two other characters. And uh, from the looks of it, uh, the only ones I'll get is probably the kid and maybe the shirtless um, indie. Because uh, that one is uh, it's a very good base body for customization. So yeah, customizers might want to pick that one up. Because I probably gonna pick it up because uh, I could put some clothes on him or something. And then uh, 
We also get the Tempo Escape set. Uh, looks great, but unfortunately, uh, the figure that comes with the set is an identical one from uh, Wave 1 Indie. So, uh, I don't know whether I'll pick it up or not. Because, uh, yeah, it's the exact same Indie from Wave 1. So, yeah, not sure yet. And then lastly, we have a figure with a vehicle set from uh, Fog Toys. And uh, not sure what this character is about or who this character is, but the hover bike is absolutely perfect. It looks so good. The price for the set is 158 and I'm seriously considering getting this one uh, for myself because uh, I really like the bike and uh, the character is okay. Character is uh, okay looking, um, but yeah, that bike is really, really good. Okay, so that's it for this week's video. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it. And uh, let me know if you guys have any questions. Yeah, okay. Thanks for watching.